Father. Thank you for another day. Thank you for a new miracle. And thank you for permanent blessing. Father, may only your name be glorified in Jesus' name. We are here this morning to thank you, to give you glory, and to study your word. Father, let only your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Tuesday, January 17, 2023. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. Join me to say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia song we never cease for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic for today is the living sacrifice. The living sacrifice. Our memory first shall be found in the book of Romans 12, verse 1. I read, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. The sacrifice that pleased God the most is your life. You become a living sacrifice the day you surrender your life to Jesus. From the day you genuinely surrender your life to Him, He can send you wherever He wants, set the direction of your life, and use you to fulfill His plan. God know, I never wanted to be a pastor class of a general overseer, but I am a living sacrifice. I had wanted to retire at the age of 70. So that I could then begin to live a normal life. Sleep when others sleep, eat when others eat, and so on. But God said no. Since I'm in living sacrifice, my response was yes, daddy. God expects you and your retire to be when he wants. God expects your entire life to be a sacrifice to him. You are to go wherever he sends you. When he say, witness, you witness, sit, you sit, pray, you pray. The moment God that he has you as a living sacrifice, whatever other offering you give become acceptable because it will be given under his guidance. Some of us, even becoming to church, have made up our mind on the offering to give. For the fellow who is a living sacrifice, God will tell them what to give. When I became general overseer, things we had, we could hardly pay the stuff, and we could hardly pay our workers, church payroll, and many at a time. There will be nothing left to pay the general overseer. Having left paid employment for full time ministry after working for the government for several years, I received my gratitude with plan to save some, invest some in shares, and so on. However, I am a living sacrifice. I ask God 
What do I do with this money? He responded that I should divide it into three parts and give each to a different ministry while retaining nothing for myself. As peaceful as this was, I was converted when he said further, I will be your source. When you become a living sacrifice, God will become your source. The day you became a living sacrifice, you became his property. So he will take care of you. Things may be hard at first, but he will make sure that your tomorrow will be all right. Colossians 1 verse 27 Brethren, I want us to read Matthew 16, 24 to 27 and our Bible in one year, Exodus 5 to 7. Our hymn is in 23. Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Our reflection for today. Are you living sacrifice for God? Can he decide to do whatever he pleases with you and all you have? Are you a living sacrifice for God? Can he decide to do whatever he pleases with you and all you have? And I pray in the name above every other name that God will be your source and everything you want in your life will be permanent and your mercy and your blessing will never be detached away from your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brethren, this is Love Word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the like button and share it. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. We are reading minds united in love. Jesus is for Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah.